And that is why China's dick tastes so good in my mouth. What's going on, Activision Blizzard? What are you guys up to? Hey, Act Man, we're banning a Hearthstone player because he stood up for civil rights. <laughs> that sounds really douchey. Ah, uh, it is, but you know me. Ah, uh, you wanna you wanna get some pussy later, dog, bro, dude? Yeah, pound some bruise. Oh, what's up, Blizzard? How's it hanging? It's going really good, Act Man. We just remastered Warcraft 3, and it's a total dumpster fire. The fans hate it. Yeah, that was pretty soul crushing. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow I'm gonna lay off 800 employees because. Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> you know me, Activision Blizzard here. Wow, it's almost like you guys can't stoop any lower. Can't stoop any lower? Oh, yeah? So if you haven't heard, I hate to be the bad news bear, but Blizzard is still a terrible company. In fact, they might be even worse than we previously thought. It's impossible! They've recently come under fire for some serious allegations and a California lawsuit has been filed against them for sexual misconduct and harassment, treating their female employees like crap, unfair pay, and fostering a frat boy culture. Hey, uh, just was wondering, is this uh, an out of season April Fool's joke? Uh, no. Which, after reading all this stuff, is very offensive to actual fraternities because some of the stuff they're being accused of is appalling but for one second let's try to be objective to my knowledge these are allegations not proven facts even a company as bad as activision blizzard deserves to be viewed as innocent until proven guilty that being said it's not looking good <laughs> I think this story was broken by Jason Schreier, and this man is a national treasure. He is a shining beacon of what games journalism should be. Breaking story after story, revealing the seedy underbelly of the games industry and the truth that we would all rather look away from. If you haven't seen some of my other videos on Blizzard, really go check them out. To summarize, I have a love-hate relationship with Blizzard, and it's basically been like watching my best friend get hooked on methamphetamine. So. Very sad. As a company, they fell long, long ago. But this is pretty much the nail in the coffin for me. And to be clear, these accusations are aimed specifically at Blizzard and not so much Activision. However, we'd be fools to think Activision has had no part in the radical change of the company's culture. So the allegations in this lawsuit were compiled over a two-year investigation conducted by the state of California. I repeat, the state of California. So this is not some random tweet with no factual backing whatsoever. It's, it's a little bit more serious than that. The lawsuit alleges that women were paid disproportionately to men at the company, even at the executive level. They were promoted less often than men and terminated faster. In the office, women are subjected to cube crawls in which male employees drink copious amounts of alcohol as they crawl their way through cubicles and engage in inappropriate behavior towards female employees. Getting hammered on the job sure does a great job of explaining the current state of World of Warcraft. Male employees proudly come into work hungover, play video games for long periods, and delegate their responsibilities to female employees, engage in banter about their sexual encounters, and joke about rape. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. It's too far to back out now, boys. I... I have to keep talking about this. If you want to make a rape joke uh, with your buddies in a private voice chat, uh, that's one thing. But, uh, like, on the job? In a company? Next to women? It goes on to say, female employees are subjected to constant sexual harassment, having to fend off unwanted sexual comments and advances by their coworkers and supervisors. My fucking supervisors are catcalling in the offices and being groped at the cube crawls. I just want to say I don't think it's necessarily a problem that there's like a lot of men working in the games industry. Kind of like I don't have a problem that there's a lot of females working in the makeup industry. But this type of behavior is, is totally reprehensible. You know, if you're gonna be a shitty person, at least do it in the privacy with, with your boys 
and not at the expense of someone else that's like literally right next to you. Dark humor has its place, but it's not in the workplace. So these are pretty damning accusations, but just wait, it gets worse. In a particularly tragic example, a female employee committed suicide during a business trip with a male supervisor who had brought butt plugs and lubricant with him on the trip. Prior to the trip, lewd images of her had been passed around the studio at a holiday party. <laughs> Now, I can't say for sure that all this happened, I wasn't there, but it's unusually specific, don't you think? The lawsuit continues to say that executives and human resources knew about the harassment, failed to do anything about it. I'm not gonna dive too far into the lawsuit itself, uh, because it just gets worse and worse. Again, on its own, this is pretty horrible stuff. And Activision Blizzard deserves a chance to defend themselves. But if this is all true, then you can really see the like performative action they're doing to be like, we're all inclusive and we're for diversity and women and yay. You know, the whole shtick that they're doing with Overwatch and during Pride Month, you can really see uh, the true nature of the company in stuff like this. Do I think Blizzard is led by sexist executives? Well, here's an interesting clip that has resurfaced. I love the fact that you have a lot of very strong female characters. However, I was wondering if we could have some that don't look like they've stepped out of Victoria's Secrets catalog. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, wait. Which catalog would you like them to step out of? Yeah. <laughs> so, we, we feel you, and uh, we want to vary our female characters, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll pick different catalogs. Wow. That was fucking terrible. Granted, this was 11 years ago. It doesn't mean much on its own, but considering that these are like the executives for Blizzard is kind of indicative of greater cultural problems at the company. They didn't even answer this lady's question, just... Yeah, we'll, we'll pick different catalogs. The response was so patronizing and disrespectful. This person came to your convention, dude. They're obviously a fan. And here's the thing. If this is how they all address a completely innocuous question at their own convention, in public, it begs the question, how much worse is it behind the scenes? But then the next question was, And I was just wondering if you have any plans for female druid forms? And the dude is like, That's a difficult one. Like, it's gonna be, t it's gonna be tricky. We'll do what we can. How's that? It's tricky, we'll let you know. So these are not good looks at all. Again, it doesn't summarize everything about Blizzard, but I'm just trying to connect the dots, you know what I mean? I did some research and found some employee reviews on Blizzard, some from over five years ago, and many of them would say stuff like, oh, it's a great place to work, but yeah, there's rampant sexism. There can be a bit of gamer culture, men say sexist things, including people's managers. When I did encounter sexism, it was from upper management. Sexism at Blizzard is not malicious, it is just there as a point of fact. I advise women to accept the position at Blizzard, but go into it knowing that you have to fight for your voice to matter. Yes, the very plaque that sits outside Blizzard HQ is nothing more than a facade. A relic of a bygone era. I have experienced casual sexism from coworkers, but never felt targeted or limited in my opportunities for being a woman. Unethical employee practices regarding compensation and performance reviews. Company is riddled with sexual harassment that sometimes gets covered up. You should see a pattern here. I could go on, and I intend to. But I more so want to point out that everything we're hearing now, people have been saying about Blizzard for years. We just haven't really paid all that much attention to it. Tons of former employees are coming out and sharing their experiences on Twitter. Whether or not it's all true or can be corroborated, it's the common themes that have me worried. You know, it's like the Bill Cosby effect. Like, th there's a lot of people coming out and saying the same stuff. If this lawsuit is really to go anywhere, I think it will have to rely on witness testimony and some hard evidence. But should you have that, it should probably be an open and shut case. Cons. Drug use. Bullied and hostile work environment. Unfair wage practices. 
And the greater point in many of these employee reviews is again, company culture is not what it used to be. Greed and shady practices have taken over Blizzard. And we've seen this idea supported by their treatment of Blitz Chung, the Diablo 3 auction house, Diablo Immortal, you guys not have phones? Employee layoffs and Warcraft 3 reforged. All this stuff I've talked about in the past, it's just one giant clusterfuck. And now it's like th the tipping point, like this is the last straw. But Let's hear both sides, because J. Allen Brack, the CEO, has responded. In an email to staff, he says, The behavior detailed in the allegations is completely unacceptable. My aunt was a saint, blah, blah, blah. That is why equality is so important to me. You hear that, guys? We like women are cool. Equality. Am I distracting you from the allegations? It's like, shut up, dude. Shut your mouth. I disdain bro culture and have spent my career fighting against it. What catalog is that uh, torn female coming out of? <laughs> not, not one you'd read. Yeah. <laughs> sexy, sexy cow business. <laughs> you can't milk those. You're giving bro culture and fraternities a bad name, dude. Groping women and making sexual comments towards them in the workplace, that's not bro culture. That's fucking douchebag culture. Bro culture is about being competent, as a man, like elbowing your buddies and saying, ah, fuck you, dude. And they're being like, ah, fuck you too. God, I love you. It's about being bros with your friends. So an Activision Blizzard executive, Fran Townsend, also wrote an email. Uh, he's much more aggressive. A recently filed lawsuit presented a distorted and untrue picture of our company, including factually incorrect old and out of context stories. I am proud to be a part of a company that takes a hardline approach to inappropriate or hostile work environments and sexual harassment issues. Judging by those employee reviews and uh, the swath of people that have come out, uh, this sounds like a thing that is not true. We cannot let egregious actions of others in a truly meritless and irresponsible lawsuit damage our culture of respect and equal opportunity for all employees. I don't think they'd spend two years investigating these claims and filing a lawsuit if it was truly without merit. Another Activision executive said, the lawsuit wasn't true because they refused to inform us what issues they perceived. He says they rushed to file an inaccurate complaint, as we will demonstrate in court. Bro, two years is not rushed. We are sickened by the reprehensible conduct of the DFEH to drag into the complaint the tragic suicide of an employee whose passing has no bearing whatsoever on this case, and with no regard for her grieving family. So someone did kill themselves. Never mind that. Never mind that it was on a company vacation. How dare you bring it up? They're grieving families. Yeah, an employee committing suicide on a business trip sounds pretty relevant. This dude is basically expressing how pissed he is that the company was blindsided by this massive lawsuit and obviously the inevitable fallout that is to come. So I try to be objective when these things happen, like with pro Jared and everyone jumped on him because it was so easy to, but this seems a lot more legitimate. Like I learned a very valuable lesson from the whole pro Jared incident. And that was like twit longer, dude. Those were two tweets from two people. This is an actual lawsuit. It's not enough that the overall culture of Blizzard has been contaminated by greed over the years, but even worse, it sounds like a super toxic work environment. I think when you're trying to look at stuff in the early stages of lawsuits like these, it's hard to come to an immediate conclusion like, do I think they did it or not? I would not be surprised if many of these claims were true, and I'm basing that on how long this stuff has been said before, the detail that goes into it, the amount of time spent investigating, the actual lawsuit is being filed by the state of California. These are things that indicate to me there is a greater chance of this being true than some random Twitter user posting a twit longer. You know what I mean? Like, there is a big difference. Blizzard continues to be a disgrace to the very industry that they built up. They continue to insult their fans, their employees, and their own code of ethics. It's extremely disappointing, and I know this statement won't age well, but I can't imagine Blizzard's reputation getting any worse.
One last thing I'd like to mention is uh, the previous CEO, Mike Morhaime, actually addressed some of these issues. I have read the full complaint against Activision, Blizzard, and many of the other stories. It is all very disturbing and difficult to read. I am ashamed. It feels like everything I thought I stood for has been washed away. What's worse, but even more important, real people have been harmed, and some women had terrible experiences. Some of this stuff was still going on while Mike was there, but I'm kind of willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. The fact that so many women were mistreated and were not supported means we let them down. In addition, we did not succeed in making it feel safe for people to tell their truth. It is no consolation that other companies have faced similar challenges. I wanted us to be different, better. I realize that these are just words, but I wanted to acknowledge the women who had awful experiences. I hear you, I believe you, and I am so sorry to have let you down. I find it ironic that the reply from the ex-CEO is much more compassionate than anything we've heard from current executives at Blizzard and Activision. So at the end of the day, I'm currently leaning towards believing these accusations. However, Activision Blizzard do deserve a day in court, a chance to defend themselves, and we'll just have to wait until then. We'll have to wait until more information comes out to really make a definitive judgment. But yes, Blizzard is still a terrible company. That hasn't changed, whether or not this is true or not. But yeah, I think it's important to come out and talk about big issues like this in the games industry. I don't consider myself a games journalist, but you know, maybe I'm doing something good by highlighting it and covering it. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. All right, everyone, that's all I got for today. This is The Act Man signing out. Peace.